And we are back again, once again. Like how I timed that, right? All right, all right, yeah. Respect, all right. Cool. So this time around, we got our boy, Gine. Thank you, Gine. Arigato gozaimasu. Still using Pikachu, all right? Pikachu's strong, because, you know, Pikachu is actually, you know, a really good character. A lot of people are already saying that Pikachu is OP, but well, that's besides the point. Going up against a Machamp. Now, this is actually the first time I'm seeing a Machamp being used. And right now, he's got he, he got the hot hands going in with the aerial throws. But Gine ain't having none of that. He's going to send him back, give him, the, give him these uh, Thundershock projectiles. Oh, my God. My man, oh, oh, my Lord. Machamp looking strong as ever right now he had that e honda body slam up in the air but we got the bread and butter cookie cutter oh he missed it drop the combo get him with the grab nice grab out of the shield good pressure that guinea is putting on him right now keeping him away with the uh oh but Amolgo coming in with that assist all right power up jirachi with the boost he's gonna try to go in oh he's gonna, he's gonna just throw out the super like that Wow, he got it! No, 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 he got something else. Okay, okay. Yeah, he, he pretty much... See, okay, so notice how this whole match just now, it looked... It, at first, it seemed like it was it was neck and neck, but, you know, after all that Gine just did, man, he just totally showed him up. But right now, this Machamp... It seems like Machamp really has no other approach but from the air, actually. As you can see, this guy keeps just jumping in, and that's just not working out for him right now. Okay, but he's, he's connecting with a combo, right into a, a throw, into the corner. Logine smart enough to get out of there, back up. And Machamp got, got an aerial, he got an aerial projectile, which is kind of funny. Uh-oh, cookie cutter. There it is, not, just dropped it again. Is that, come on, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see this Pikachu bread and butter cookie cutter. There it is. All right, so we're going to take it to round three right here. Machamp, looking like he ain't as free as you would think. Okay, nice nice way to get in there. Knocking him down. Early power up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got those two. Jirachi, power up into the super. Not going to get any of that. Oh, he's going to answer with his own. Oh, what? Woo-hoo-hoo! Machamp! This man just totally gave it to him. Oh, my Lord. I can't wait to find out what the actual names of these supers are. Because let me just tell you, this game is too hyped to not be. I mean, I'm so excited, especially after since we just got the confirmation that it's coming to Evo. All right. Well, back to the matchup real quick. So, so both players are really, they're at close quarters trying to just get in, trying to get in with some aerials. Machamp just going in with that E Honda body slam, except Gine is too fast, too quick. He's going to go around him and hit him with those in and out combos. Oh, wait a minute. He just, po he just powered up again? I didn't know you could do that twice and... <laughs> that was funny. I didn't know you could do that. I thought you can only do that once per mat once per round, but I guess if you fill up that meter, hey, you can just do it twice. All right, so you know what? We'll, instead of leaving you guys high and dry, I, I try to keep the matches, you know, the same and everything. But you know what? I'll give y'all a little bonus. We'll do. We'll, we'll stay. Call this matchup Sweet Coon Pikachu. Let's see what let's see what Sweet Coon's all about. Oh, okay. So Sweet Coon has. A side step air uh, projectile, excuse me, and he has off the wait a minute, he has OTG projectiles off oh, off the ground. For those that don't know what OTG means, it looks like Suicune is a is a pure projectile keep away character. Woo! Okay, was that ice beam? Wow, but okay, so Suicune from the air has a lot of safe options. I mean, you you saw as you saw he whiffed that. And was perfectly fine after that, just coming off the ground, just landing safe. Actually, could have done another aerial. Look at that. He's gonna just wait out. Is he? Oh, unfortunately, he hit a button. He's gonna get all of this. Big, 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 show you can. I call that the peak, the peak of Rukin. 
Ooh, see? Alright, so it's not looking... Okay, so... Suicune... Let me just... Let me just clarify this. Suicune pretty much just won off of pure spacing. That's it. That's it. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm just trying to point that out. That that's the kind of character Suicune is. So for all you guys that like this kind of play style, I'd highly recommend just trying to go for Suicune. Suicune's not the kind of character that you want to rush down with. Um, from the looks of it, I mean, you know, Suicune doesn't even get as close as you would think. Peaks are gonna whiff that. Again, Suicune has a lot of uh, stalling moves that kind of just make the opponent. You know, you know, get on, get impatient, just trying to get in, doing something. All right, here we go. P Pikachu, cookie cutter, bread and butter. Psych, not the full thing. Come on, he gonna, how you gonna give me Poke Blue balls like that now? Oh, oh wow. Okay, Jirachi coming in with that power boost. So we can land out those sidestep projectiles. Try to keep them away. Not looking too good right now. Okay, so Suikun with the power up. Woo! And we have seen... Alright, so... Hey, you know what? Suikun coming through for you guys. And unfortunately, that is it for today. So, check back tomorrow, hopefully, for another video. And, um... Actually, there's a tournament coming up. If you guys weren't aware. More details coming soon.